There are many reasons why Mason Greenwood hasn't taken part in, in, in first team games in the Manchester United. They haven't been training with Manchester United team. And uh, we all know it is discipline because of discipline issues. I just posted an article on our Facebook group. Guys, make sure you check our Facebook groups. You can post your free information you want to know. I mean, if it's football-related Manchester United information, you're free to join the group. We are, we are hitting 10,000 uh, followers already. And yeah, so I posted about Mason Guru coming back for training and I had someone writing me that. I checked out the um, Laurie Whitwell uh, in at, at athletics. Uh, yeah. Piece. So I said I should react towards it. So if you haven't read that piece, you can check. You can check it and uh, and tell me what you guys think. But basically, uh, it's about Mason Greenwood, right? It's about his disciplinary uh, um, uh, issues that he has as a football player. You, we all know that Manchester United uh, have a very disciplined manager now with Eric Ten Hag. And honestly, if you you if you want to be honest, Eric Ten Hag will not take this this shit. I think uh, in regards to Mason Greenwood's situation, I've had a lot of questions here, a lot of uh, opinions. Should he come back? So I'm, I'm most of you guys watching this channel, uh, you you love Mason Greenwood, and I'm not. I mean, I'm, I, I think I think I, I am with you guys on in the sense of his talent because I think he's uh, he's just an unbelievable talent. Uh, guys, you're talking for someone who played football. I played in a junior level, you know, when I mean junior level of a country. So I know what I'm talking about when I talk about football talent and I was a midfielder so let's take this away from me to Mason Greenwood but Mason Greenwood is a player which uh, many have seen as one of the the better players in Manchester United since the class of 92 some would say since Eric uh, uh, since uh, someone like Eric Cantona but we have had as uh, this uh, article from Donnie Woodwell saying Mason Greenwood during the COVID lockdown, you guys know how strict it was in the UK. And uh, still, Missing, uh, Missing Road was having parties, with Airbnb renting places and, you know. And, um, yeah, and it, it, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. I think he, I think, uh, he was an issue for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He was, he was, he was definitely an issue for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. You can see, I remember there was a game we played against West Ham, or which he was in the bench. You can see Missing Greenwood was already about his shoulders were above his head, and it was it was well well noted for some of you who understand body language that Missing Greenwood was clearly growing horns, and this is an issue. It comes down to the issue which we have in modern football: the the excessive money given to young players. You know, guys, I'm not jealous for anybody's career. You can end whatever thing you want to end. But you watching this video, you if you are 25 and ending just 10K, right? Let me call it just, just 10K. Let me just say 5,000 euros a month. Many of you, your character is going to change. So, Mason Greenwood, footballers are humans. They do have this this tendency of uh, of being deceived by, all the, by, by, by finance, of being deceived by status. And I think Mason Greenwood was um, didn't have a lot of uh, advisors around him, and hence that pushed him into uh, the situation in which he is. I'm not talking about the situation which all of you know about. He's a, a lady which uh, 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 Mason Greenwood had an issue with, which most of you know. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the disciplinary situation in regards to Manchester United, because as you guys know, in football, one of the biggest sector of a football club is to maintain that discipline. Say Alex Ferguson was very hard on that. And today we have um, a manager, um, Eric Ten Hag, which is unbelievable discipline. You can remember Eric Ten Hag keeping away Rashford from a game that was against uh, Wolves because he came late in the meeting. But Mason Greenwood, sometimes I had an article was written like in an Everton game, he didn't even come to a meeting, you know? Because if you don't know the way the football works, guys, players train. They do whole meetings as a team. And the last stage is um, some hours before the game, play, the lineup is out. Some teams, they know the lineup the day before the game. So it's a bit different, but there is always that meeting. The, 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 that team spirit plays a massive role in you getting results. It's, it is a general thing. It's an, it is a general thing for all professional clubs. Players meet again because that is where the success comes up. You build as a family. You don't need to love each other. But that togetherness brings those results as well. So he, he has been a little bit out of order. Some say a lot out of order. And uh, I want to push this question to you guys about Missing Greenwood because um, 
we have uh, read that uh, Manchester United turned down an offer for him to go to Turkey this season, which means uh, Manchester United are very interested about the player. I want to re- reiterate something with you guys that um, football is football. Football for me uh, and, and for everybody. I mean, because of too much money in football, most people, uh, most organization and uh, most people have uh, come into the, 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 the family, football family, and with different ideas. But let me tell you something. Just like in the 90s, that was the last time, in the 90s, many parents didn't want their, their kids to play football. I'm a good example. My parents didn't, didn't believe you could, you could earn a life by playing football. Most parents in Africa, it's just in the 2000s where I would say most parents are understanding football was a career. I would, I would bet with you that even in the Western world, in the 80s, not every parent will want his child to be a professional footballer. So today we have a lot of money in the game and some can't even manage it. But coming back to Greenwood's case, I want to say I think Manchester United has identified Greenwood as a talent. And, and considering that players as, uh, are, are the most important uh, asset in a football club, it would be wrong for Manchester United to just kick out Greenwood because of disciplinary issues. I think they will manage the situation properly. I think Greenwood, but this is my opinion, right? Nobody telling me this. I think Greenwood will be given a chance for Manchester United, and that will be the last one. I have heard from uh, some friends uh, who said Greenwood uh, uh, comments where he was going to do everything, fight for, fight for his career or break, go through uh, brick walls to play for Manchester United again. And that is good news. That is the spirit in which we want as Manchester United fans. So guys, tell me what you think about this situation, about this article. If you haven't read the article yet, it's written in Manchester United, Greenwood is back, right? Greenwood is back story and uh, has gone in detail. I can't read everything about this article for you guys, but um, just go to The Athletic about Greenwood and you will understand. I just wanted to reiterate this article because this is so important. You can read it here. During the the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic, Manchester United had a handful of young players who sometimes struggles at her head under lockdown restriction. Mason Grunew was among them. So he wasn't actually the only player who was like that, right? But we know that in regards to him personally, Mason Grunew had an issue in the national team with Ferdon. And uh, which means that he's not new to such controversy. Grunew was seen um, uh, revi- uh, uh, reviving his Mercedes Benz around uh, Altricham, southwest of Manchester United. United. When regulation uh, stipulated people sh- uh, people should be inside, he also had held parties rented an LBM address in Salford, despite a ban on uh, gathering. You know, so in the UK during this period of COVID, it was so strict. You guys know the ma- the, the, the prime minister of the UK is in hot water because of uh, having a party as well. So um, uh, this is a situation where. As I keep telling people, Manchester United is a world brand. It's like a Nike. It's like an Adidas. It's like a Gucci. Gucci. It is a world brand. So, um, but the club itself is located in Manchester. That was why it's called Manchester United. So, playing in any club in any area, you need to respect those rules. But, but you know, we are in a situation which is a bit tricky one. But the, I would like to end this short video because this is not what I wanted to t- um, do today. I'll do my other video. You can check the channel. We'll talk about the transfer news later. But I wanted to react to this video, telling you guys, asking you guys, what do you think about missing Greenwood? Does missing Greenwood deserve a second chance? Drop your comments below. And uh, yeah, guys, um, smash a like on the video, share this video, subscribe, guys. The big news is if we can hit 10K by May, I can uh, actually travel to the U.S. for Manchester United first friendly games after the season, which I will share with you guys live if you want to be part of it. So help the channel. I don't need your money. Just subscribe. If we can make 10000 that is for you. I'm going to the U.S. I'll do my sponsor. I don't need your money. I'll do my sponsor and go to U.S. and share with you guys. So if you want to help our, our channel, it's up to you. Have a nice day. And uh, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.